When Nvidia launches a new GPU for laptops, they normally come out with their best stuff first, their most expensive stuff, it's like the latest and greatest, and they try to convince people to buy the whatever's newest, right? And then a few months later, they will come out with like kind of the mid-tier offerings of that generation. And right now in spring of 2019, we've seen Nvidia's hand, so we have a lot of options to choose from. We have the older generation 10 series stuff, we have their 20 series RTX, like the prime, like best of the best, and then we have their newest 1650 and 1660 gaming laptops. Now, if you're loaded and you have tons of money to burn, then you pick up a three or $4,000 RTX laptop and you're good to go. But for most people, you gotta make a decision as to which one to get. So this video is to kind of help you choose which one of these would probably be the best fit. And I have a particular kind of combination I think is the best value for your money right now. So I made a video a few months ago about how RTX laptops were not a wise choice to make. And months later, we're still in the same position. I still don't recommend most people buying an RTX gaming laptop because for one, they're super expensive. Two, the technology hasn't matured. Like it, it's been eight months since RTX has come out. Like the technology was introduced publicly and there's like three or four playable games that support RTX. There's Battlefield 5, which we've seen a lot of, and there's Tomb Raider, and I think there's a racing game. Point being, it's not a technology that's being quickly adopted by developers. And I don't blame them. Like if you're a game developer, you have to assign resources to support ray traced graphics, right? It's gonna take from other projects and stuff like that. It's gonna cost money and you don't wanna be a company that's backing the wrong horse. You don't wanna be the guy that's like, hey, we have a ray traced game, but the game isn't very good. No one wants to be that developer. So my position still stands when it comes to RTX laptops. Most people should not be buying them still. Uh, when it comes to the 10 series devices, these are still good. However, the well is drying up. The stock levels for the good GTX 10 series laptops is definitely dropping. So if you wanna get one, I'll link some below as to devices that I still think are quite good for the money. It's just that if you're gonna do it, you probably wanna do it sooner than later. And lastly, the new ones, the 1650 and 1660 devices from Nvidia. These GPs are aimed at the entry to mid-tier market, so the devices are a little bit cheaper, but the one of interest to me is the 1660 Ti. That performance is quite similar to the 1070 Max-Q, and because of the newer architecture, it's slightly more energy efficient, and it's just a better chip overall, but there is one unique device made by Asus, which is running an AMD CPU and that 1660 Ti, and it goes for $1,100. It's the Zephyrus G. I'm gonna be doing a review on that pretty soon, but because it's running an AMD CPU, it's quite a bit cheaper than devices that are based on Intel stuff. Um, okay, here's the thing. Right now, I'm using as my daily driver, I really hate that word, but the device I use most frequently is the Razer Blade uh, from 2017. I'm still running a 1070 Max-Q. Even though I have access to a lot of laptops, I'm someone that recognizes the value of just using stuff that's really good from the past. And I think this is the message I wanna to convey to my audience right now. This year, both the companies, Nvidia and Intel, are trying to push stuff onto consumers. They're trying to sell us stuff that we don't need, right? The stuff from 2018 was awesome. Super fast screens, six core CPUs, 10 series GPUs. This was seriously like the golden age of gaming laptops. And the new stuff is better, but keep in mind what games you're gonna play, what games you'd like to play, and then make a decision based on that because you can get some really good stuff still in the 10 series laptops. And if you're gonna buy one of the new ones, I'd lean more towards the 1650 and 1660 devices because as cool as RTX technology is, the games just aren't there yet. And I know some people are like, you know, I wanna get a future-proof laptop. By the time RTX is super popular, like get it then, get your gaming device then because by that point in time, the 20 series laptops are gonna be pretty old. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.